Hey everybody, it's Alika Lifty, and today let's brew our Columbia Granja La Esperanza box set. This is our natural mocha from Finca Hawaii as a filter offering. So, uh, Granja La Esperanza box set, really excited about this natural process mocha from Granja La Esperanza's farm, Finca Hawaii. The mocha varietal is pretty rare. Uh, you don't see it a lot. It's really small. It's a little difficult to cultivate, but as you'll see here, it's very worth it. Um, just like all of these Granja La Esperanza coffees, this is very soluble. It wants to drain a little quickly and that's fine because it's still gonna be pretty strong in strength, flavor, and this is a really good coffee. Um, I'm especially excited about this Finca Hawaii Mocha. Um, as a Hawaiian native myself, this is not a variety I see very often or get to try very often, and it's really good. Um, wanted to be very mindful of these small box sizes, so all these recipes are gonna be pretty small um, so that they're easier to dial in without wasting coffee and so that you can drink more of it and really enjoy this. And I also just find that smaller recipes are better in flavor. So for today's recipe, we're using the same grind size for all of these coffees. This is an 18 clicks on my Commandante C40 or about a nine or 10 on your Barazza Encore. And we'll be using 11 grams of Mocha Natural with 164 grams of water set to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So first things, let's preheat and rinse our paper filter. Rinsing is especially important for these smaller size recipes, I'm talking like 15 grams and smaller, um, because they're gonna be more susceptible to the paper flavor. And this mocha in particular, I wanna be sure to really preheat this brewer because there's um, a lot of complex sweetness in here that we want to extract. So once that's drained, be sure to dump your water. Let's dose our coffee. So this 164 grams or 165, we're gonna split into four separate pours. So a little bit different than our other recipes. Um, we're gonna bloom this one for the full time. So shake your brewer flat. I'm using the glass Kalita Wave. Um, you'll get similar results from a V60, um, but you may want to spiral for every pour on that V60. All right, let's brew. I'm gonna start my timer and I'm gonna bloom. I'm gonna try to be under 30 grams. Can be hard on the Kalita because there's so much surface area there on the top. And I'm gonna let this bloom for um, 30 seconds. At 30 seconds, I'm gonna pour a spiral up to 64 grams. Drop in the middle, steady spiral to the outside, stopping at 64. So these are gonna be tiny pours, now I'm letting this thing drain. Here at 45, I'm gonna hit it again with 50. So we're gonna be at 114. And then at a minute five, this is gonna be my last pour, all the way up to 164. Again, even spiral. got some leeway with this coffee. Um, I actually like to dilute it afterwards with about five to 10 milliliters of water. Um, just to stretch these flavors because this mocha tends to be a little concentrated. Uh, if we grind too coarse or drain too fast, this coffee is gonna be a little green and astringent. It's gonna take on this kind of vegetal tartness to it. That's gonna lose this, this complex long lasting sweetness that we have. If we grind it too fine, this drains far too long, then 
We're gonna get this drying baker's cocoa bitterness that kind of covers everything up. But if we are balanced, we drain right. This is gonna drain here at about 210. So if we're around that 210 range, then we're gonna taste this, um, this really nice uh, sweet and tart plum. We're gonna get brown sugar and chocolate malt. We'll get this nice crisp green apple. But that brown sugar sweetness and that chocolate malt are going to, to linger into the aftertaste. It's sweet, um, that nice, sharp, bright acidity. That natural processing giving us that, that plum note. And it just hits you with plum there in the aroma. It's a really aromatic coffee. All right. For all of our Grand Hall Esperanza recipes, uh, please head over to our YouTube channel. When you're done brewing, serve and enjoy.